I have a box. I have a really big box. What's in the box? Let's open it and find out. Okay. Silliness aside, let's open this box. It arrived, I don't know, about an hour ago. Royal Mail, or Parcel Force I should say, which is owned by Royal Mail anyway. I don't know what's inside it. Oh, that's better, I'll put a brand new blade in my knife so it actually cuts now. I actually broke a rule, I cut towards me. I was always taught in DT classes at school, cut away. Sometimes it's not as easy to cut away. It's easy to cut towards you. Right. We're in. I have a box. A big, big box. Shed loads of bubble wrap. Oh. These bloody things as well. Oh hell, some of these are dirty. <laughs> Um. Ooh. Okay. I can't even remember how these go on. Um. The circuit boards for it. Well, I'm just going to sit the lens on top and stamp them over here. So I've got these two tildons. These spare doorman tops, uni lamp tops. Well, I'm not going to get them all out of the box, not at this precise moment anyway. I've got four of these, or I should have four of these. There's one, there's two. Oh, I've even got a free spider in here as well. There's three. Oh, yeah. These are really, really, really filthy. These mono lights look like they've been well used. There's a spider. You see the spider running around? Oh, he's just fallen off. He's now running around the flat somewhere. I've got this. Supplied by MHM, Dorman Traffy Lamp. 0181640 7621. We're gonna have to go on the floor, I think. And of course, a shed load of uh yeah, that's actually a spider's been busy in here. I've got a shed load of these as well. Let's take some out. Oh yeah, I forgot about these as well. So what was it? Was it the Tildon or was it the Unilamp? Ecolite. It's an Ecolite, I thought it was. From the picture I thought that was an Ecolite, there should be. Yep, another one. Isn't it? Yeah. Lamps. Lots of lamps. I feel rich in lamps. <laughs> yep, a bolt in the bottom. I have no idea what that came off of. Correction, there's another bolt. And another bolt. I'm going there, did it? They fit the uni lamps. Just before I get rid of this, there's no more lurking in the bottom, is there? No, just the one lamp. There we go. Two. Three. Four. Should have ten of these. Five. Six. Seven. Nine, 
10. Something tells me they've been stored. Because <laughs> uh, they're rather dusty and mucky. Especially this one, look at that. The question is, how many of these things actually work? Well, I've got a battery, so we're going to find out. That goes in there, and I've got to rotate this around to find the arrow. That goes together like that. Well, I'll be. That flashes faster than my other one. So that's good, that one flashes. What I'm going to do, I'm going to test these tops as well to see if either of these work. Where's my arrow? That one's dimmer, but it does work. I'm guessing they all work, I shouldn't think there's a lot wrong with them. Yep, I wonder what will go on. <laughs> Why does not that all go on? These are all flashing faster than the one I've got in the bedroom. Right, that's good. That works. Pick up another one. There's a right way and a wrong way to put these in, by the way. I've got two arrows that I've got to line up. So far, so good. I think so I don't get confused, I'll put the ones I've tested down there. See, there's an arrow on the body and an arrow on the lens and they've got to line up and then the actual base itself there is actually a mark that indicates where you've got to put that so that goes like that that all goes on like that Two I'm getting one of these working. Circuit works. Let's see if I can't get these lids to stay on. Let's see if I can't get the battery out. They just push on. <sighs> I think. Pilot. <laughs> 
360. Maybe he's such a pig to get on. I've always found her a pain in the ass to open. These have been open for a while. <clears throat> Come on, pick. It's not going to help, is it? Duh. Alright. Jesus. There's spider skins and all sorts of shite in there. Look at that. Right. Even gonna work? Oh, I'm gonna need a pokey stick. Have I got anything at hand I can use? It's a pokey stick. one works. I'm back. Um, they've all gone. No, all gone. Apart from that one. Why have they gone? Gone? Rather not gone. In the bathtub. Only because that's bigger. <laughs> um, because they all needed a bath. So instead of doing like a half a dozen items at a time in the kitchen sink, I just filled the bathtub up and threw them all in there. Um, these are the circuits at the mo mono lamps. These two don't work. If memory serves correctly, that one's the one with a dodgy switch. A sort of wiggle a switch and I get the LED at the top here to flicker. And I think this is the one that is um, totally dead. Which again could be a switch problem. But I'm pretty certain the one which flickers when I wiggle the switch is um, got a faulty switch. These two are working. 
<coughs> One of them wasn't, but since I took it out of the lamp and cleaned it up, it's uh, working. So my plan is is to get at least one more working by perhaps swapping the switches over if I can find a good one out of the two on the one that's dead because they're exactly the same switch look six contacts on each exactly the same it'll just be a case of swapping them over there's the bracket off the um, dormant lamp this is actually rather beaten look at that it's rather beaten but I'm gonna leave it as it is there's lots of cobwebs and crap that's the other reason I just threw everything in <coughs> Um, oh, I don't need a bath anytime soon. There we go. Boiling hot water to try and, you know, loosen the dirt off. I've got an old sponge somewhere I can uh, wash them down with. But because I just ran the hot tap and this was very hot, I've just let it soak. Letting it let it cool. I should be able to get my hand in here now. Ooh. It's actually still quite hot, but not too hot. There's all the circuits. I'm going to take these out of here because I am going to need to use the sink because I am going to need to use the throne shortly. Not quite yet, but shortly. Oh, yeah, there's always want to put the friggin camera on my ass goes oh you need to go and use the throne now fuck off for a minute I'm not using it yet right um oh excuse me uh what did I come back in here for I can't remember oh well I might give that a fresh coat of paint once you can buy them cheap enough on eBay as they are. Um, <laughs> I did message the seller of these lamps because the um, tracking number he gave wasn't being recognised by the Fast and Force website, but there might have been a an error in the tracking number, a number wrong or something. But they got here anyway, so I was getting rather a bit worried because every time I checked the tracking through eBay, it just wasn't even saying it had been accepted, but... Oh yeah, I've got a message, that's alright, but... I don't need to panic. It has arrived. Oh, I haven't done the, um... Eco lights. In the photo, I couldn't tell if those were eco lights or Tildorns. Um... I suspected eco light from the lens design, but it wasn't easy to see. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. I might just chuck them on eBay as a pair. No. Try and get some cash back, I suppose. Oh, fudge. So I've got in a good eco light up there. Because if you look at those two, I'll zoom in on them, those two. The left one is the eco light, and the right one is the um, Tildorn. Not a lot of difference, is there? There is, you know, the body of the Tildorn has got that ridge going down it. And the lens is a slightly different design, it's a different pattern, but... If you look at where the neck of the lens meets the um, body, it's exactly the same. And... Uh, I couldn't actually tell. From the angle of the photo, I couldn't tell. But... You've eaten what was in your dish. I've eaten those lollipops, look. <laughs> Sorry, bruv. <laughs> I'll take that as a payment for letting you kip here. <laughs> and use my shower and whatnot. <clears throat> that is Seriously? <sighs> Righty ho. Um, the lamps are all sorted. There they are. I haven't done these two. They haven't been cleaned. But all the other uni lamps, they have been cleaned. As best I can. I mean, there's like tarmac or something stuck to that one. 
<coughs> excuse me. Yeah, I haven't cleaned them ones yet. I might just chuck them on eBay as they are, because I don't have a use for these. They're not even ones that I really like enough to keep. That part is what I want to keep for myself. Um, hang on a minute. Right, I just had to clear the memory card. I've got a lot of editing to do for this video. Anyway, they're all clean. Thank you. <laughs> um, well, they're as clean as I can get them. You know, keep in mind this is like tarmac, so that's not likely to come off. But pretty much these. One second. That's better. I'm driving up the wall otherwise. These are what I'm going to stick back on eBay. And there's. Nine. If I do that. <laughs> uh. Probably those two as well. I'll stick on eBay as a pair. Oh, pardon me. Um, those down there are currently not working. Those are the circuits out of them. Uh, one of these, and I think it's this one, has got a dodgy switch. If I do that and then just sort of give it a little bit of a wiggle, I can get the LED to sort of flicker. Which indicates it's got a dodgy switch. Um, and judging by how much dirt was on this, it's also got some rust on there as well. Um, and the other one was completely dead. It just, it didn't do nothing. But my plan is to try and get a good one out of the two. And that lot is my keep pile. Um, my definite keep pile, so I've got four lamps, that's about it, <laughs> I won the bracket, and behind me, those are being posted to a friend of mine, might not be next week because I've got bills and crap to pay, but at least on the next payday I'll get those sent off. Uh... I'm sure there was something else you want, and I can't remember what it was. I'll have to read the messages again. Actually, no, I don't think it was. I think that was it. So, even if I can just get some of my cash back, that will still be a bonus. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So now I've got two of these with a different sticker on. As you can see, this one's just a thin strip. Uh, the other one I've got is like this one. It's got the full body reflective sticker on it. Don't know why they did that because all of these are all flash. So I don't know. Did Dorman just decide to do that to save a bit of money on this uh, reflective stuff? Because I know that's not that cheap. That stuff. It you can actually buy it on eBay. Rolls of it. This I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one yet. It is. Uh, <laughs> Rather rough and beaten up, it's got a whacking great dent in there. Um, but it has done, you know, your typical dormant metal lamp, all the paint has flaked off. I am tempted if I could pop the lenses out without breaking them, or mask them up, to actually go over this, strip all this paint off, and do like um, a, a custom colour, possibly, or I could just leave it as it is. I don't know. I haven't decided. I've got that mono lamp. That works. Oh, that one works as well, by the way. It didn't till I started playing with it. Um, both the Pilot 360s here do work. I've already got one of these, but my one hasn't got the plastic strap on it. Handle. Um, so I'm going to keep one of those. There's another one over there, but they've both got this is, um, I think this is tape glue, like from duct tape or something. Someone's put on there, I have no idea, but the other one's just as bad. And even some of these mono lamps have got it as well. And I'm pretty certain these have been, like, in sunlight for a while. Look, it's meant to be that sort of yellow, not that. 
Oh, for Pete's sake, that frickin' phone today. Where's the time? Poxy phone, I'm going to throw that out the friggin' window. Anyway. It's probably BT saying, you haven't paid your bill yet. I know I haven't paid my friggin' bill yet. It's going to be paid next week. And I know from the dates I've still got time, so I don't want to start playing silly fuckers with me. Pardon the French. Anyway. If I'm going to start playing silly buggers like that, I'll take my custom elsewhere. <laughs> it's actually been tempting just to save on a bit of money. Even though I've been loyal to BT for the past seven years. But I have noticed um, prices do keep sneaking up. Which is a bit of a piss off to be honest. Right, these eco lights I haven't cleaned. I might just give them a wipe down. But uh, I haven't cleaned them. They all do work as you saw earlier in the video. Really, the only ones that don't work out of this are the two on the floor. But, looking at the state of the circuits and by uh, on how much cobwebs were actually in this, because I've had these, um, I've had these completely apart. I've even had the lenses out because there's actually muck and cobwebs up inside the um, lamp head up here. So I had no choice but to uh, pop the lenses off and give them a clean out. But going by that, which is a good indication they've been stored somewhere, and there is um, some rust and whatnot on this one, and on the switch bodies, I'm guessing a little water got in there and probably damaged the switches. And yes, I did take the circuits out of these lamps before I soaked them in the bathtub. <laughs> I can't remember if I videoed that bit or not. Uh, so I've got four lamps to go to my friend. Uh, I don't think it really matters which plastic body I send because I can take the circuit out and stick it in one of the other ones. But they're all near enough just as faded as each other, which is why I'm guessing they've been used quite a lot. Um, I know these Tildorn mono lamps are quite old because I actually remember seeing them when I was really young, actually, really, really young. Well, I say young, it must have been in my sort of early to mid-teens I used to see these, so around 2000. They would have probably have been one of the earliest LED lamps over here in Britain. At a guess, or at least these are the first ones I ever saw anyway. Because I remember seeing some bolted to barrier posts, but I can't remember the bloody company that had them. They're not my favourite. I actually don't know why, to be honest, but they are just not my favourite. I don't even think the Tildorn website still exists, but it's got it on this, www.tildorn.co.uk. Anyway, I think I'm going to call it quits for this video, so thanks a lot for watching. I've got a fair bit of editing ahead. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, anyway, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down, and I will talk to you all again in the next video. Bye.